Let's try a section of the legendary guitar piece Asturias. It's some of the most famous music for classical guitar, and the good news is that this is a super easy version for beginners. And if you want to hear how it'll sound at full speed, then just fast forward to the next chapter in this video. I'm going to get the tab and notation on screen for the practice playthrough, but stick around to the end because I'll let you know how to download some free PDFs and I'll give you six helpful tips on playing this exciting music. Tip one is to decide your right hand fingering early. Let's quickly name the right hand fingers. We got thumb, which is P, index, which is I, middle is M, and then ring is A. So you're going to play all the bass notes with your P finger, your thumb. And then you're gonna play the high treble notes with a different finger of your choice. So you could do P, I, P, I, P, I, like this or PM, which I prefer, even PA, or I've also seen PIPM used consistently as well. So just decide early and stick with it so that you can build some muscle memory. Tip two also has to do with your right hand, and it's gonna be at the end of the piece in measure 17. There's two E's that you're supposed to play at the same time fret zero and fret seven. So instead of just plucking them, you can instead brush your thumb across them because your thumb's already playing down there and also it's a nice dramatic sound. And a tip for this is to tilt your hand forward, your right hand, so that your knuckles are closer to the floor. This will make the thumb brush stroke feel much more natural. Good luck with that one. And tip three, we're gonna move on to the left hand for tip three, and it's to do with measure nine, which also is the same as 10, 13, and 14. The tip is to use your pinky on the beat four, on the second last note. It might feel natural at first to use your ring, but if you do that, there's going to be a hop. Whereas if you use your pinky, it's more efficient. Watch, here's with the pinky. So it makes getting um, the F sharp, the fret nine, easier if I use my pinky before. Otherwise, there's this hop in it. That you really feel more when you speed up. It's awkward. If you use your fingers efficiently, then you can actually move slower at the same tempo. Your fingers don't have to hop it around as much. Moving on to tip four, which also has to do with the left hand, but this time it's a little later. It's in measure 15. You should use your first finger, but rather than hop with it, you can use a little half bar to make measure 15 easier. Watch this. Mm -hmm. 
So it's between beat one and two. Instead of hopping with your index, like that, you can half bar instead. So it's basically just squishing your finger down at this first joint so that you're covering the thickest three strings of the guitar. If you can't do it, don't worry. You can just uh, use a different finger or hop. It's not the end of the world. On to tip five, a more general tip this time that you can use for any classical guitar piece, but is especially important in Asturias. Use a metronome. So as soon as possible, turn on your metronome. And a tip is to set it really slow so that it almost feels like it's holding you back. You'd never want to rush after the metronome. You could even set it to click once per eighth note. So every single time you play, you hear it click, and maybe you could start around 100 or slower if needed, but that would sound like. When you do it that slow, you can make sure your rhythm is really even. You can even accent beat one if that helps you stay on track better. Super good practice. Have fun. So tip six is more musicality oriented. I want you to really remember that the melody is in the bass and I want you to think about the direction of it and phrasing it and the dynamics of it. One way to do this is just to play it on its own. So here, let me take a small part of it. See how I was naturally doing little swells in each measure and then I kind of did a crescendo into the low B, that kind of thing. That's what I feel like doing when I hear the melody on its own. But you have to decide what sounds good to you so you can make it your own. Start practicing musicality early. Don't just focus on technique. We got a bonus tip for you. The tip is don't expect anything too fast and have fun while you practice. Just don't give up, set aside a little time every day and do it and you'll have it under your fingers before you know it. Can't wait to see your progress. Okay, I hope you had fun learning this super easy beginner version of Asturias and that this tutorial was helpful. Check out the video description for a link to the sheet music and the tab that go with this lesson. If you click the link, enter your email, we'll send that to you right away. Can't wait to see you in the next video.